Let's do that again. Cut and do it again. So. Welcome back to the channel guys. Long time no see. So the next video was going to be about the top 20 most of riders of all time. That's still on the edit at the moment. It's taken a lot longer than I thought. Uh, okay, me and my big fat mouth. So here's a just a quick filler. Uh, review as you know I like my scents and uh, whether it's expensive whether it's cheap I like to experiment with my scents so uh, recently over the sort of like last uh, especially earlier on this year there was a bit of an internet sensation with a scent called Choco Musk and it was given to lots of influencers, so if you look all over YouTube, you'll see reviews of Choco Musk absolutely everywhere. Uh, some channels have got a couple of hundred reviews, some have got literally thousands of reviews. Uh, and the one thing that everybody said it is absolutely amazing. So I wanted to jump on that bandwagon, yeah, a bit late to the party, admittedly, but I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. So. I went out, bought some, and if that doesn't go out and buy some, I ordered it online. It popped up the other day, and I've used it since. And yeah, here's a quick review of Choco Musk by Crown Perfumes. Uh, Al Rehab is the house name. Crown Perfumes is probably the owner of uh, this establishment, and it's an Arabic perfume, allegedly. And that's what it looks like. So there you go, just hold it up to the camera. Uh, to me, it looks like a, a very expensive bar of chocolates. Uh, however, it is a perfume and it is a 50ml bottle uh, with an 80% 80% alcohol content. So that means 20% of this must be perfume or so. Just about falls into the perfume category. So let's open it up and have a look. So the first thing to note is it is a... Yeah, the box looks like a bar of chocolate, as I said, but it's a cheap packet, and why would it be expensive looking when it only cost me, I think this cost me six or seven pounds, uh, so not a great deal. I've seen it for as high as 10 or 11 pounds, but it's, as I say, it's a 50 more bottle, and that's what the bottle looks like, just a, a, little, a little half moon bottle. So if you look at that flat at the back, uh, curved at the front, textured and it's just fairly sort of generic looking with a yeah you need a bit of strength for a horrible what can you expect for that money so the content of this all the notes uh, the top notes are spicy apparently so it's got cinnamon in uh, I think it's got amber and then the sort of base notes, mid notes, uh, base notes are chocolate, allegedly, uh, musk and vanilla. So let's have a quick look at it. So the atomizer, that's just a generic atomizer, nothing to write home about. It looks okay. And for six pound, seven pound, what do you expect? You're not going to get anything fancy for that. So let's uh, just. Mm. Oh. Right, and the first thing to notice is that is really, really strong. It's like absolutely overpoweringly strong. And what's really strong about it is the alcoholic content. It actually smells like a spilled bottle of Bailey's. It's that, you know, Bailey's Irish Cream. If you don't know what that is, it's, a, it's an Irish Cream liqueur. Uh, it actually smells like that to me. It's really, really, really strong. Uh, it then settles down and when it settles down the top notes where it said it was cinnamon and amber I believe uh, I'll have to double check on that it settles down into an almost medicinal smell uh, and that's I suppose due to the alcohol content so it kind of reminds me of bay rum mixed with Palmer's cocoa butter somehow so Eventually, when the alcohol evaporates, and it does take some time because there's such a high content of this, you get this, so on the dry down almost, you get this really, really sweet smell. And when I say sweet, I mean it is really, really, really sweet. And to me, chocolate, 
I'm not getting the chocolate at all. I'm getting a, I'm getting vanilla, really, really strong vanilla. Uh, chocolate, no, I don't think chocolate smells like that at all. Chocolate's got quite a, uh, a distinctive smell. This is very, very vanilla. Uh, could you say there's chocolate in there? Could you say it smells like Nesquik, which some people say, or Swiss Miss? Uh, a bit, it does, but it's not, it's not chocolate. It's very, very vanilla. Uh, and it's lovely smelling uh, once it dries down it goes into that now the longevity of this I when I first got this the other day I bought, I bought a few bottles actually because why well, you just buy one if it's meant to be that good I bought a few bottles of this like I said and I applied some after a shower the other evening and literally when it goes onto your skin it's completely different and the top notes, the top notes are really, really apparent. So you get the cinnamon and amber. It's quite a, like I say, it's quite a medicinal sort of, almost, I wouldn't say bitter, but it's quite a, it's quite a unique, uh, yeah, medicinal. That's the only word I would describe it. Quite a medicinal smell. But then when it dries down, it goes into this, this really, really sweet smell. And it's an absolute room filler. It's not a, it's not what I call a powerhouse where it can hit you sort of straight between the eyes when you walk into a room. But if you sat in a room wearing this, eventually it just fills the room out and you almost become nose blind to it. It's that, it's that powerful. And I would say in terms of longevity, I put, I think it was about four or five sprays of this on after a shower. And it was still there the next day. Uh, when I had a, another shower, it was still there the next day. It's literally that strong, but it's not a, it doesn't project as much, it doesn't jump off your skin, but you can smell it on yourself, if that makes sense. So, would I would I buy this again? Uh, I quite probably would, uh, because I like it. Uh, it does smell rather yummy, as other people would put it. So who's it for? It's for it's unisex, so men and women. And this is more suited to evenings, autumn, winter. Would you wear it during the day? Maybe. I don't know if you wear it to an office because you probably fill the office with this and it's very it's almost it's almost like a, a, a an air freshener. It's almost like a room freshener. It, it's that. It's it, it's in that sort of category. Uh, some people say it's a gourmet fragrance. Yes, it is. Uh, but for me, it's the overpowering smell of vanilla. I can't smell chocolate in this at all. Some people have said chocolate milkshake. You know, quick Swiss Miss. Maybe uh, at a push, you, you kind of get that. But when it's on you, it's just vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. So yeah. Um, would you wear this with anything else? Yes, this would be an excellent layer in scent. So with this, I would wear this with a spicy fragrance, such as a maybe Calvin Klein Obsession. That would go absolutely lovely with that. Uh, Victor Rolf Spice Bomb, lot of the more expensive spicy ones. Uh, maybe, maybe not, but I'll experiment and report back. Let you know how it goes. So, in terms of internet sensation, maybe, maybe not. It's certainly different. It's quite unique, in fact. Uh, I just actually really, really don't know what to make of it. But for the money, yeah, it's absolutely amazing for the money. And this is also available in an alcohol-free concentrated perfume roll-on which is a six mil so a six mil uh, concentrated perfume roll-on that would probably be the equivalent to one of these but it's just in a concentrated format because there's no alcohol in it that's good for uh, people who've got alcohol allergies or religious reasons not to wear alcohol so that's where that's at I, I might get some of that and try that see how it projects Maybe wear that with this, see how that works. Uh, yeah, and that's all I've got to say on it. So, yeah. <laughs> a 
that's all I've got to say on it. So until the next time, guys, peace out.